So we did a randomized study with a group of people to measure 7,500 different gene regulations. My interest was, okay, we now know that genes do not create disease. Less than 2% of the people on the planet are born with type 1 diabetes or sickle cell anemia or Tay-Sachs disease. The other 99 to 98% is created by lifestyle. You know, you can get two identical twins with the same genome. Why does one die at 57 and the other one die at 85? Well, different environment, different perception of the environment, different behaviors, different choices. I wanted to see if people began to think differently, make different choices, do different things, create some new experiences, and feel and embrace different emotions. If that was new information coming into their nervous system, into the circulatory system, into their body, could we change the gene expression? Because we've witnessed people heal from cancer. We've seen people with MS heal in a few days. We've seen people with Hashimoto syndrome change, rare genetic disorders change. We've seen all kinds of things change. But you just can't leave it up to, oh, that just changed. You have to close the gap between knowledge and experience. We measured 7,500 gene expressions and we wanted to see the common genes of those 35 or 40 individuals that they were expressing. Now they all had their own gene expression, but what were the common ones that they expressed? There were two genes that were expressed that literally downregulate cancer genes that reduce cancer uh, and tumors and growth. A gene that grows new neurons in your brain, not just new connections, but the growth of new neurons in response to novel experiences and learning. Genes that stimulate stem cells that go to damaged tissues and repair them, to repair damaged tissues, regeneration. The gene for oxidative stress was downregulated, which means anti-cancer, anti-aging, anti-heart disease, anti-stroke, anti-inflammatory, anti-neurodegenerative, uh, antimicrobial. This is what a, the antioxidant does. Genes that regulate uh, the immune system uh, to become stronger. We are our own genetic engineers, and when we begin to understand that if the environment signals the gene, and the end product of an experience in the environment is an emotion. When you embrace an emotion ahead of the actual experience in your environment, you're signaling the gene ahead of the environment. And your gene begins to change your protein expression, which means you've literally become the very person you want to be. Okay. Now and how can you do that? How do you front run your emotions that way? Well, it's just it's just a formula. You have to learn how to make those internal changes. And and after all the research. Brian, one of the things we realize is that there's a formula that we've actually been able to replicate.